Hey everybody, it's Mikey. I'm a full-time reseller and I've been on YouTube for one year. And when I first started my journey, because this was gonna take a lot of time and sacrifice and resources away from the house, my wife made me promise that after one year, we would assess whether to continue or to quit YouTube. And now it's time to make the decision. I basically started when I won the list perfectly grand prize, you guys. I won a Chromebook and a printer and some other stuff. I wanted to film the unboxing of that. And then I was like, Mikey, why don't you just start a YouTube channel and add some yard sale footage to that? And I was going to the Boss Reseller Remix where I was gonna be speaking the first time, telling my story of how I became a reseller and the path that led me to where I was at last year. So I was gonna hang out with all these other YouTubers. So many people I have so much respect for. So I decided, hey, I wanna be in that club. I wanna be a YouTuber, so boom. I put out my first video. I didn't even have the camera turned the right way. And no one really watched. I didn't even tell anybody. I didn't tell family. I didn't tell friends. I certainly didn't tell any other YouTubers I was starting a channel. So I just put it out there. I think I might've posted it on my Instagram and some of my Instagram friends came and watched you guys. That meant so much to me early on. Just anyone watching and leaving a comment really means a lot, especially when you first start. And especially now, I appreciate every comment you guys. If you actually take time to watch my videos and comment on my videos, that means a lot and I really do appreciate it. That's that's part of the fun of the YouTube. But there was a lot of, lot of negative things, you guys. For one, it takes time to edit videos and you have to learn how to edit videos. I definitely had my Instagram built up. I've never really tried to build anything up like for followers or any of that kind of stuff, you guys. A lot of people won't listen to common sense anyways. You guys, I'm sure, have some friends. They don't listen to what you tell them. You tell them good advice, they never listen, you guys. So I am not. I don't waste my energy preaching. If you want to ask me questions, I'll give you answers. But I don't go out like, follow me, I got the answers. It's never been my thing. Not even on Instagram, Facebook, you guys. I was off social media completely, and I kind of liked it. Now, I'm on my phone all day long, and that's maybe one of the minuses of, of being a creator and being on YouTube. Let's go inside and we'll talk about more of the ups and downs and am I gonna continue or not? No, when I first started, I put in music, I was using a web-based service for my editing, which was a mistake, you guys. It took me forever, but I didn't really know any better, and I was learning. You gotta put yourself out there, and you gotta make some crappy videos, you guys. The first few are crappy. As much as I like them, they're not that great. This month's videos are better than last month's videos, and so on, you guys. I'm always improving, trying to make better videos, and I think I have been doing a good job, because you're telling me in the comments, Mikey, that stuff's good. So I really enjoy you guys hanging out with me and coming along on the journey. That way for profits, let's go make some dough. All right, guys, so I told my super wife, super court, that I really wanted to try this one year on YouTube to give it an experiment, give it my all, and see if I could produce some results. And let me tell you, it's been a year, and it's had a lot of ups and downs. When I started doing YouTube, it takes a lot of time, especially when I first started. I didn't know how to edit my videos. I didn't know anything. I just knew that something told me I needed to try to start doing this, and now was the time. So, number one, I had to sacrifice time and I was already busy you guys when you do reselling full-time it's more than a full-time job you got to do so much stuff A to Z you guys you make the listings you do the packing you do the sourcing I'm still doing it all if you outsource that's great but Mikey is a one-man show so as a one-man show I was already running short of time you guys I'm not the most organized I'm very hard-working I got a blue collar background so I'm not afraid to work get my hands dirty work all day long, hustle up some overtime, hustle up two jobs, you guys. I once complained to a guy that I had two jobs and I was so tired, he said, man with two jobs is very lucky. And I gotta agree. Ooh, now I've been doing very good with boxes, you guys. So let's check out this box. I don't know, that top looks kinda cheap. Oh, it's a chalkboard. Whoa, it's got chalk and spoons, you guys. What do you think the spoons do? So I had to sacrifice time either time away from my wife 
time away from my recreational activities, which mostly, I gotta say, before I started YouTube was I rode my bike a lot. I loved a mountain bike. We would bike so often, and I was getting really strong at biking, but I got in a car accident, had a sore neck. It really slowed me down. So this piece is pretty interesting. eBay, you guys. So I pretty much did eBay. I rode my bike and hung out with my wife. That's all I did. So I needed to find some more time, and that, that caused quite, quite a, a problem. And this thing is so interesting. I just don't know what it does. I don't know where it hangs. Does it sit like that? But what is it per its purpose after that? I don't know. I'm going to hold on that for a second, but I don't know. So I would miss out like on the weekend. I would be trying to edit my video or film my video. And I didn't have any time to hang out and enjoy myself. So I was working and working and... I mean, I was just like, sweetie pie, I want one year to see if I can do this and make this into something. And let me tell you guys, in the beginning, you work so hard just hoping people will watch you. I mean, it's amazing if they do. There are amazing content creators out there that have wonderful channels, do awesome videos, and they just don't get the views or don't get the momentum started. So it can be very discouraging, so discouraging, you guys, especially... Especially when you start, it's just so much work. No one really watches, no one really cares, honestly. So a piece of advice I have, just start because really your friends, your family, they won't care. They won't even be watching you guys. So just go for it and enjoy it. So really with YouTube, all you need to start is your phone. You can edit everything on for your phone. They have free apps you can do on your phone, but Mikey Bags, I had bigger dreams. I wanted to live stream on the streets of Las Vegas to build my hours and to show you guys all the things I love about my town. And so I had to buy a gimbal. I had to buy microphones, you guys. I went out at first. It sounded crappy. It was so shaky. So these are things I had to invest in to make a better channel and a better viewing experience. And of course, all that stuff costs even more money, you guys. And I'm not making any money while I'm doing this. Like I said, I, my listings, I'm getting less time to do my regular work I'm getting less time to hang out with my wife so I'm just sacrificing and sacrificing you guys but if you got a dream and if you want to build something it definitely does come with some sacrifice so I was on the road to sacrifice for the few first few months everything going out nothing coming in and so far you guys I haven't picked up much it seems pretty dry today so I think it might be a discount day We'll check it out. Hopefully we can bag something more than this wooden elephant. If I don't get anything, I gotta bag the wooden elephant, right? With the straight edge? Let me know what that is down below. Guys, look at this disrespected Ellis Island things on on the ground. You guys remember we went to Ellis Island? We ate like the $10 steak and Super Court got sick and we had to turn the stream off early. Apologies. All right, guys, let's stroll through it. Like I said, we've had lots of ups and downs. I started off injured in my career and then you guys I had to have surgery so that really really has put a burden on the expenses like I said I I finally did get monetized on YouTube but I'm not killing it you guys if I was putting more effort into eBay I would be doing way better financially in the short term in the long run I think I think I could be on to the right thing you guys with all your support and let me know that you guys enjoy it I just want to keep on continuing but I mean, it's an experiment, so I gotta see. Do we keep going? Do we not? So what's Supercore gonna say? Does she wanna go back to private life and have her Friday nights to herself and not have people always commenting about Mikey Bags? And have I thought about quitting? Yes. Early on, it was easy to think about quitting. I didn't have much invested in it. Then I started rocking and rolling. Then I got a couple months in. I got my hours built up. Subscribers are coming. You guys are hitting the subscribe button. And I start hanging out with the niche lady who I really connected with at the Boss Reseller Remix, you guys. Just say hi to people. You never know what's going to happen. So that's a USA Beijing 08. That's kind of nice, but seven bones. And it's Olympic grounded. I'm going to skip that. So Danny's like, hey, Mikey, you want to come shoot a garage sale video with me? And I'm like, heck, yeah, I want to go. Let's go. So we went up to Summerlin, you guys. My camera was so shaky. She told me a few things to improve on my videos, and I started improving, you guys. I was like, okay, this person who is, is a great YouTuber is just being nice to me and giving me information. I take that information, and I run with it, you guys. And I think Danny kind of liked how 
I took that information and run with it because she kept calling me up and was like, Mikey, let's go thrifting. So we became good buddies, just hanging out, thrifting. She started teaching me all kinds of glass stuff that I really enjoy learning about. And I'd teach her some of my stuff about the, about shirt. the shirts and pickiness. We got some dudes picking heavy. They got all the shirts, all the shirts. So I'm going for the shoes. You guys always got to mix up. If you see everyone with all the shirts, I mean, they won't find every single one, but if they got all the shirts, I'm going to switch categories on them. That's the good thing about knowing everything in the store. Just switch up. So I found me some Hoka's. Bag the Hoka's. 13 bones only, too. So that's a great deal instead of that 29 for the bong tranger. So Hoka, one, one. Baggy, baggy. Okay, cycling shoes. Always good, but... Goodwill's on to him now too, you guys. I heard rumor has it they watched the videos. I did some other videos with other YouTubers. Every time I would learn something new or I just really enjoyed learning and feeling the vibes. And I worked and worked, it takes a lot of work, a lot of hours. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours, and it's a lot. When you're working your way up, you guys, it's a huge mountain to climb. Luckily, I was monetized after six months and I started making money, you guys. It was very nice to be able to have some pennies coming my way. So Superport was excited. I can say it's actually been for money. So we're still way in the hole, you guys. I spent so much time and so much money on this venture, so many Friday nights, but it's it's been incredible. So worth it to me, so worth it. Great things just start happening. Started making some dough. People started reaching out to me. I mean, I just really got a good momentum coming. The subscribers were coming. All your wonderful comments, you guys. And then I had to, I got injured. I had to have my surgery. And you guys, the support from that and just the wonderfulness of the prayers and kind comments has really opened my eyes to just how incredible people and this community is and just how much I really like what I've built and what we're doing. So that's an interesting bag, but not quite for me. I've never heard of the the Kucha. Let's look this up. But this thing sells for about 20 or 25. The shipping's gonna be light. It's only four dollars and it's a cool color, you guys. So that's another one in the bag. I love getting backpacks, hiking bags, and stuff like that. It's my guilty pleasure. Bag it. I have gained so many virtual friends, so many in-life friends. So many wonderful things have really happened. There's only been one real fat comment, some other comments, you guys, but way overwhelming, happy, wonderful comments, you guys. So if you're worried about when you start that, that the bad comments are gonna fly, they're not gonna fly, you guys, because <laughs> no one's watching you in the beginning. So there's your chance to mess up and have a good time and don't worry about the stress of views or any of that stuff. When you first start, really just have fun there's no pressure there's no nothing just have fun make mistakes and start making content Let's see what we have we still got no records over there so suspicious of the no records over there i gotta tell you hey, what is this is this one of those fancy golf nets no oh it is it's just the golf net for the bag you guys if you saw harry tornado spoiled himself with a nice golf net it's just the the bag for the net i don't even know i'm not even gonna look it up could be valuable. People could be missing the bag. That happens all the time. What do we got over here? Ooh, a Nike backpack. Ooh, what do we got there? $20? Yeah, ouch, you guys. The condition is suspect also. So Nike backpacks, you can definitely get some good cheddar for them. A Max Air backpack? I don't know. It could even be worth the dub ski, you guys. But I just don't like the way those look. Yeah, guys. They're only going for about 60 new. So definitely got to pass on that. It's got stained. Suspect. Suspect alert. Blue, blue on aisle 10. Ooh, what's this, guys? This is cheap. It's probably good. Wilson, genuine leather, baseball. It's a smaller thing. Ooh, seven dollars, you guys. They're catching on here. Wilson Pro 50. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Now it does go for about twenty-five dollars. Now for twenty-five dollars, this thing's going to weigh more than a pound, so it's going to cost me about nine dollars to ship. And then on that twenty-five dollars, there's thirteen percent fees so that's at least three dollars so that's twelve dollars we're looking at plus seven dollars i got there so that's nineteen dollars you guys if i sell it for twenty dollars i only make one dollar and they only go for about twenty to twenty five so that's just too much risk it could go wrong everything else not enough profit i'm not even going to double my investment so we got to skip it so you guys so many ups and downs this year myself and supercore we never argue you guys we're a harmonious couple but let me tell you the YouTube, the time, the effort, all the extra stuff on top of already not making a lot of money. 
is just incredible stress you guys if you want to start like reselling if you want to start doing youtube start doing it part-time start doing it on the side learn all the mistakes go the easy way mikey bags just throws himself in there the full way full style you guys it's the only way i know right here there's none sold only one listed for 70 dollars and i love when that, that's the case because i'll just weigh undercut this is a nice good glove it's a little bigger than the others plus i just like the design so i think we're gonna bag this one bag it and hope you guys i think i could use this thing it's almost like a gorilla pod check it out it's the foam pod i i really need it the top works for me so you guys we're gonna bag that one like i said equipment cost four more dollars you guys you know how many views it takes to get four dollars a lot it's super Chords game the oregon trail she used to play it on the wang that brings back memories that's a long time ago super court my super wife if you don't know who she is she's a hard-working full-time executive we always kind of had a big fantasy of maybe going to some restaurants and putting it on a youtube channel or something like that but really i had no youtube skills so i'm out here building them now she didn't want to be on any of the earlier videos they were terrible i don't blame her i'm just out here hanging on the internet it's slowly my videos starting to get them better and super core joined me you guys she joined me every friday night we've been just building up the live part of our channel thank you super court all the time sacrifices every friday night plus the weekends you guys plus she works all the time so it's been a lot on both of us and luckily i got support you guys i hope you got support at home and that's been making it all pasta we've gone thrifting a lot of times we've gone to the flea market we've hung out with our friends so i got a wide circle of characters on my channel and i'm quite proud of that we are continuing this is a celebration of one year you guys your support your comments your subscriptions your memberships everything has overwhelmed us and it's so incredible we can't quit and supercourt can't argue with that you guys it's been an amazing journey i'm so excited you guys have given me so much encouragement and motivation and i believe i can achieve more than i've ever achieved so i like to give a little bit back in my other video you guys if you mentioned bag it bank you were going to get one of these banks and southern gal we are still waiting for you to respond to get your free bank so we're going to run it right now to see who won thank you guys so much i'm going to flip to the other screen and we're going to continue on with the video you guys i'm going to buy some stuff i'm going to show some comps at the end we're going to get some eats thank you so much for being part of the mikey bags family and hanging out with us watching my videos i can't wait to see what year number two brings We're picking a winner bag of bank the real andy andrews said loving the production value of your videos recently we can definitely tell you're improving your game bag it yes congratulations real andy andrews hit me up via email and i will send you your bank thank you so i hope you've been enjoying my stories of sharing and you guys know this party's going to continue we got to keep this going one year you guys i'm so happy to be where i'm at in one year let's check out this mikasa country club if you don't know much about sell-through rate you really got to study it so i looked up this mikasa country club you guys and there is over 480 items of this stuff out here and i mean it looks like each bowl was going for two dollars and stuff but you guys it's only selling 10 percent every three months only 10 percent like 48 of those 480 items are getting sold you guys so you got to wait forever on the average to sell this stuff so i'm definitely going to pass it up plus it's breakable so that's that takes more consideration sometimes it's not going to make it there you guys so definitely skipping on the mikasa country club guys like i said it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none why you just got to why you just got to put it right there why do they got to do that alert alert what game is this gross gummy candy lab make gummy candies in two flavors oh my goodness guys that's not new but mikey bags might need this one new we can make our own gummy worms i'm in i'm in so I'm, a, I'm a very fun guy but when it comes to work i'm serious i'm doing the grind i can paint a whole house by myself in two days that takes a lot of work youtube reselling takes a lot of work i'm not afraid to do it I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with me and just enjoy my videos. I try to be funny. I like the brighter side of the day. If I work all day long, if I got like a 14, 15 hour day and 
13 of the 14 hours were crappy and one hour was good, I'm coming home and talking about the good hours. That's the good stuff. If I wanna watch negativity, I'll just turn on the news. We keep it positive here. I like to keep it funny. Check out some of my other videos or playlist if you want some good laughs. So I'm just reminiscing on a shopping trip with you guys and letting you know that this almost didn't even happen. I just had to keep persevering and hope for the best. And I'm still hoping for the best. All your comments, your likes, and all that stuff really do help the channel and make this journey possible. So thank you. Ooh, you guys, these are some funky cups. They're like copper painted or something. Weird, weird, but cool. Weird, but cool. No markings on them. I'm gonna pass them. I like them, but I can't use them. Look at this thing, Das Boot. Das Boot is big, you guys. That is a huge, huge glass beer drinking glass boot. That thing is a little too big for Mikey. The comps, maybe it goes for 30 or more, but it's glass, it might break, and the sell-through wasn't that high, so we're passing on Das Boot. As we're just continuing on, continuing on. Like I said, looking for profits to sell in my eBay store, you guys. I love selling on eBay today. Today, the super court, she had to go to the doctor's whole nother subject to talk about. If you follow our live shows, maybe you've heard some more. Super court was gone and I just went to photograph all my stuff. I was in the groove photographing. I mean, reselling, it's a lonely game, but there's something soothing to just being by yourself and getting work done and feeling a good accomplishment. That's kind of like what I liked about the painting was I could see my accomplishment. If I painted all day long, I would see the difference. So. Sometimes in, in this reselling or YouTube, you don't see the immediate result today. It might take tomorrow, the next day, but that thing's gonna sell. And I believe my channel's gonna continue to grow. You just gotta have the faith and work hard and be consistent. I've been more consistent in YouTube more than anything else. And that's where I'm seeing the most growth. So I just need to spread that consistency a little bit more around everywhere else. The art of belly dancing. It's in a secret scroll, you guys, because, I mean, it can't come in a book or anything. It comes right here, so that's $7. I don't know. Mikey boy could use the art of losing belly dancing is what I'm looking for. The art of losing belly dancing, and you got me. It's always go look through stuff twice because you never know just what you might find the second time through. Plus, people put things back, move things around, so always keep looking, always keep open check out mr clown bank in case you didn't know i've been collecting these bagot banks their money back banks and i do have a couple limited edition for sale in my ebay and poshmark and shopify stores if you look right below that's my shopify store right below the comments and you can buy stuff there that i featured on my videos and i got a lot of cool hawaiian shirts there so go check them out faux show Yes, that's me playing the violin. Go buy some stuff. Go check it out. Thank you. I don't know what that thing is, guys. I'm so out of the plush game, but it always looks so fun when people are picking up plush. I mean, I don't like stuffed animals. I just, but yet I'm still here. This is as bad as the coffee cup. Oh, you guys, but when I was a kid, I loved Curious George. I was Mikey the monkey. I wanted to be a monkey, you guys. This thing doesn't have a tag on it. I mean, there's where his tag is. The shirt looks vintage, right? I mean, George, is that a vintage shirt? Is it a vintage shirt, buddy? Let me know. I mean, I need to know. I did a Google scan on him. I think you can buy this George at Walmart. So, skippy dippy. Guys, I'm over here looking at Curious George because I'm curious. Oh, what is this? They got like Punky Smurf now? I don't know, you guys. It's probably worth a fortune. Let's bend them over. Smurfy. The Smurfs from the movie Smurfs. I don't know, you guys. Anyways, I saw some cool jerseys, man. The kids section. Apparently, it's got some good stuff. Look at that Looney Tune shirt. That thing's pretty sick. All over print. Child's Looney Tune. That might even be a men's small. Child's pricing, you guys. This thing's sick. I think I gotta sw swoop it for the men's. Men's small. Bag it. And let's uh, see all we got, what we bagged, and what we're taking home with us today.
Early days and long nights is what a lot of this job is about, you guys. I got two 40 hour a week jobs, even more. I'm a reseller YouTuber. Let me tell you, I love it, you guys. If you didn't know, the motto of my channel is buy, sell, and eat. The one good thing about this Goodwill right here, it's right next to an in and out, you guys. Check it out, hop in line, get myself a double double, maybe make it even animal style, you guys. So let's go in and enjoy a meal.